What's up guys, it's Alive from the Sabah Cartel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys why you guys need to level up your gunsmith. All right, all of these field test weapons, I recommend that you guys do the challenges or the bounties for all of them because uh, like that next week when the Ticket King comes out, you can just get two weapons, level up the gunsmith to rank one and bam, already order a weapon for Arms Day. So what is Arms Day, right? You level up the gunsmith and then you can order a special legendary, of course, with random perks. Now let's get... Uh, into how to level up these weapons fast or you know how to do the bounties for these weapons fast because obviously That's what you guys want to do. You guys don't want to take 20 minutes or at least I don't want to take you know 20 minutes doing it uh, By the way by 20 minutes. I mean like you know three hours. Hopefully you guys got that All right, the Omolon test fr1, you know, you got to kill people in the crucible Obviously, this is a no-brainer. You just go kill people in the crucible I recommend rift because everybody is always camping at the freaking rift zone so you know every enemy is going to be there or your teammates are going to be there one of those two right uh then we have the hockey test a now what i recommend just go on patrol and you know just get headshots because that's what you need to do to level up this bad boy it just takes 10 headshots so it's not really a big deal uh the suros tsr 10 this one is a complicated one all right because you know it you can only level up this this bad boy by killing majors right and i see people using it in the crucible no please no stop Stop. You don't want to use this in the Crucible, right? Because it's not going to be leveled up in the Crucible. What you want to do, you want to start the Fist of Crota mission, and then you want to kill the Sword of Crota, and not the Sword of Crota, the boss, but, you know, the Sword Bearer that is in that mission. And it only takes two rockets. Oh, and by the way, let me tell you something, right? Be when you start the Fist of Crota mission, there's going to be also a Fallen Major at the beginning. So... What does that mean? You need to do the mission a total of five times and then you get the bounty for this launcher easily, easily done. That is like the fastest way that I know of. Um, the Hockey Test A, this one, you just need double kills. Just go on patrol, pretty simple. Or you guys can do the Omnigo Strikes and kill all of the thralls that come out of that room. I recommend just patrol. And then the Omelon Test RR1. I completely kind of like the sniper because, you know, you can two-shot people and it does fire pretty fast. But at the same time, it is kind of sucky. But, uh, yeah, just go on the Crucible and, yeah, man, just play whatever game where you're comfortable with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video on the Gunsmith and Arms Day and why you guys need to level up. Like, I really recommend that you guys level up the Gunsmith. Uh, it's going to be really, really important. And not only that, it's going to give us more options, more weapons to use, all of that good stuff, right? Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe to join the Sabahe Cartel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.